Hello little lovelies and welcome to my bathroom. Sorry if it's a little bit echoey, it might be just because I'm in the bathroom, but um, yeah, there's not really much I can do about that right now. Firstly, Happy New Year. I hope everyone's 2020 is off to a great start. And if it's not, then every day is a new day. So take every day as a new day. Okay, so we're gonna jump in and I am gonna do an updated skincare routine because I think the last time I did one was like during the summer. So some of the products are still the same, some are different. But anyway, I wanted to just bring you through my updated skincare routine. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, well, obviously take my, oh, take my eyelashes off. So the first thing I like to do when I remove my makeup is use an oil-based cleanser. And the one I'm using is from Fourth Ray Beauty. This is the BFD Cleansing Oil. I also love the Tatcha, the cleansing oil as well, but I ran out with this one and I had this as a backup, which is almost gone too. But I really like this one, so I continued to use it. What I really like about an oil-based cleanser is that it really dissolves and melts off your makeup. So I find it's just so easy to do this as my first step, just to melt off the majority of my makeup. So I usually add two pumps and then I just massage it into my skin. And I also do my eyes as well. It doesn't irritate my eyes, but I still like to be nice and gentle around the eye area. So it doesn't irritate my eyes if too much oil gets into them. And I like to get like right into my eyebrows as well. I wear a brow gel set on my brows. So I like to make sure that I'm getting in here with the oil to break down all the product. Before I rinse that, I just like to wet my hands and massage this in again. It just kind of breaks up the oil a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna rinse all this off now. I am going to cleanse again with a different cleanser, so it's okay if I still have a little bit of make like a little bit of makeup residue on my skin because the second cleanser will remove any of the leftovers. But before I do my second cleanser, I like to go in with my eye makeup remover to remove any of the makeup residue that's left, like my mascara, eyeliner, stuff like that. So the one I use is the Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. So I just apply some on a little cotton disc and then just go in and remove the rest of my eye makeup. Sometimes this next step will either be an exfoliate or a cleanse, but I exfoliated last night, so I'm not gonna exfoliate again, but I'm gonna show you what I use. This is the Zo Skin Health, the Dual Action Scrub. So instead of that, I'm gonna use my exfoliating cleanser. This exfoliating cleanser, the exfoliating bits in it are, they're like little balls rather than a grit. Your exfoliator has more of a gritty feel to it, this doesn't, but it just really gently exfoliates your skin, so it will remove um, any dead skin cells, anything like that on your skin. And this is gentle enough that you can use every day. This again is Zo Skin Health and this is the exfoliating cleanser for nor normal to oily skin. Now I don't have oily skin, but I like to use this because this area of my face is um, prone to breakouts on this part of my face. So that's why I will use some products that are for like an oily skin. So I'm just gonna apply this all over and then I'm just going to take a little bit of water into my hands and then just massage this in so this will just kind of foam it up a little bit so I'll do this for about a minute or so I also like to do my neck as well. I woke up this morning with a new little pimple. So I'm gonna take some action on that right now and I'm gonna use my sulfur mask. This again is Zo Skin Health and it's just their sulfur mask. Just gonna apply a light layer of this all over my skin. These sulfur masks are great for anyone who is acne prone because it helps clean and tighten your pores and also it helps to absorb excess oil on the skin. So I like to just apply a light layer of this all over. It stinks by the way, it smells like rotten eggs. 
So I just want to make sure I get a little bit extra just around my chin area and especially here where I have pimple coming up. So I literally leave this on for about a minute, two minutes max. So I don't want it to dry my skin out too much. Same with clay masks, I never leave them on for the whole time they're supposed to be left on. I will leave it until it's about three quarters of the way dry and then I rinse it off. Because I find that when I leave them on for the full time, my skin just gets dry. So it kind of takes off too much oil out of my skin um, and my skin is on the drier side. So if you're someone who is a little bit drier and you find that clay masks take so much of your moisture out of your skin, maybe try and leave on for a little bit less. I find that that has helped me a lot. Okay, so it's been on about a minute. I'm going to take it off now. Because I only apply a thin layer as well. It dries like after a couple of seconds of putting it on. You don't need a thick layer of this product. So the next product I'm gonna take is another Skin by Zo Health. These are the acne treatment pads. These are amazing. If you break out or you're prone to pimples, get these in your life. I use it every single night. Um, so they're basically just tiny little cotton discs that are dipped in salicylic acid. This is the 2%. So they usually come, this is a little tip I was given and it's genius because these are not cheap. So they usually come in a little circle like this, just a little disc, but I cut them in half. The last time I was in getting a facial and um, they told me to do this and it's genius because you basically get double the use out of your product. So cut them in half and all I do is, is just go over my skin just a light layer. I mainly, I go all over my skin, but I mainly focus again this area because this is my problem area. So these just help again absorb any excess oil on the skin, help clean out your pores, and remove dead skin cells, all of that, anything that contributes to acne. Ever since I started using these acne pads, actually ever since I started using this brand in general, I have noticed a huge difference in my skin. So if you are someone like who suffers, you have like problematic skin, I would recommend going and chatting to like a skin professional because sometimes we just need a little help, you know, and get like medical grade skincare. Honestly, like if you've been watching my tutorials for a while, like You've seen the breakouts I used to get. They were like big, huge, like cystic acne at times. Really sore, really painful, really uncomfortable. Um, and I can barely break out anymore. Like this is just like one pimple. Actually, I think it's two or maybe it's an old one. Anyway, like that's nothing compared to what I used to get. I'll still get the odd breakout. Like that's pretty normal. But in comparison to what I used to get, it's been a huge difference. Um, these tingle a little bit when you put them on, especially after using the mask. So my skin right now feels a little bit hot and tingly, but that's okay. It only lasts for a couple of minutes and then it goes away. Another product that I use every single day is this retinol. Um, I know retinol can be a little bit scary because it can make your skin peel. So I used to use a different one. It was actually one of the Zoe Skin Health ones that I used to use. And I used to use it once a week and my skin used to peel like crazy. So I stopped using it. Um, then again, when I was in getting a facial before, they recommended to use like a lower dosage one. So the retinol I'm using is from Skin Medica and it's the 0 0.25. So it's quite a low dosage and I use it every night and I never peel. So again, this is great for acne prone skin. I'm just gonna do a layer all over. It removes dead skin cells. It unclogs your pores. It kills any bacteria that helps with the growth of acne. So these products that I have been using, the retinol and the acne pads, they're like a must. If I run out of them, I have to replace them straight away. A while ago, I ran out of the acne pads and no joke, my skin was breaking out like crazy. So I always make sure I have my acne pads. Now, moving on to the next step, serum. So these are the two serums that I've been using lately. I don't use them both at the same time, but these are the ones that I have. So I have the Vichy Mineral 89 Serum, which as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. Um, I really like it, it's nice and hydrating, it doesn't irritate my skin. 
and this is a new one that I have been trying out recently. It's the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops. I'm going to use the Vichy one today. So one pump of this goes a long way. This product spreads like crazy in a good way. So I just add a layer of this all over and just massage it in. I'm actually going to take another little bit and do my neck. After my serum is done, I'm going in with my good old trusty Tatcha the Dewy Cream. I think I used this in my last skincare video. I still use it. Still obsessed with it. So I'm going to apply a generous layer of this. I usually tend to apply a thicker layer of this at night than I will in the morning time. I like my skin to be really wet <laughs> when I'm going to bed. So then it just like absorbs in all night long. Take another little bit and again do my neck. I do use an eye cream as well. I just use an eye cream for hydration because I don't really suffer with puffiness or darkness underneath my eyes. So my eye cream is mainly just for hydration. So the ones I use are the Ulla Henriksen, the Banana Bright Cream. I use the Tatcha Eye Cream and I'll use this Lancome one. I like to use the Lancome one in the morning time or anytime I'm feeling a little bit tired or my eyes feel tired because the applicator is this like little metal applicator tip so you can rub it on and it's like nice and cooling and soothing underneath the eye so that's a good one for morning time. I think let's stay on the Tatcha brand and I'm going to use the Tatcha eye cream. As I said I have a little pimple coming up here so I'm going to take my sulfur mask and I'm going to spot treat with this so I'm just going to take a little bit and put it onto the pimple. So I do this on any pimples that I have or sometimes if you can feel, you know when you can feel a pimple come into the skin or come into the surface but you can't see it yet but you can feel something there. The minute I feel anything, I will take my sulfur mask, pop it on my skin and sometimes that does prevent it from coming to a head. It will just kind of die off because it helps like smother it. It helps like kill any oxygen that's getting to it and just kill any bacteria. Sometimes it, is, it does still come to a head and I will just continue to spot treat any pimples I have with this. And of course, lip balm. This is the Bite Beauty Nighttime Lip Therapy. I wear this in the daytime too. I pretty much have this on my lips all the time, apart from when I'm wearing lipstick. That is pretty much it for my current skincare routine. I'll link everything that I use down below if you want to check it out or read more about um, certain products. Everything will be linked below. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.